Yo, what is going on, you groovy grookey? Today we're playing some games with the Electrode Lapras V Max deck, a different way to play the Lapras V Max besides the Frost Moth deck. So, the point of this deck is to turn two, use the extra energy bomb on the Electrode GX, and put a bunch of energy on our Lapras V or Lapras V Max, and then just use the Max G Max pump. Uh, Got some reset stamps in here because we're fortunate our opponent to draw some prize cards, so may as well disrupt them with those. Uh, try and set up two of these guys so when they knock the first one out, we can stamp them to one, and then hope that's enough to carry us through the game. We just kind of swing uh, as hard as possible on turn two, and and hope it's enough. We got the the three three Lapras V Max. I got two big charms for them to make them that much bigger. Um, one in DD for a little bit of healing sometimes makes a difference, especially against decks like Malamar, 4-2 Electro GX, because uh, we got to find the Voltorb, and sometimes we need two in play to kind of make sure we can get it out in turn two and our opponent doesn't knock it out. Two to Dene, one Shuckle to help us sometimes get that extra energy in the discard pile for the extra energy bomb. At four Aqua Bikes, because we like to go fast, uh, two E radar because it finds the Dedene to go fast and keep stay consistent and it also finds the electrode GX for great ball and for quick ball to find our basics and our Pokemon. No calm or incense, it hasn't been felt necessary yet, but I might start to feel it eventually that I'm kind of not being able to find my evolution cards. I mean, this guy's always been easy to find. Sometimes the Lapras Max gets close. I have yet to whiff it when I really need it though. Uh, one ordinary rod just in case we overextend between Dedene, Acrobike, and Research. Uh, two Verdian Force, kind of just the best stadium in the deck. We got the 12 Water. Mentioned the big charms. Two Switch, just because we sometimes want to move stuff around. Usually we're just chilling and don't really need to. And then, yeah, 4 2 on the supporters. 4 Research, 2 Cynthia. That's all we need. Don't really need any more than that. That's the list. Let's play some games. Getting into our first one here. Gonna go ahead and call heads as always. Okay, we lost the coin flip, but that's fine. Our opponent's probably going for. Ooh, okay, we get to go first. We'll take that. Um, got the Voltorb. Here's what I was talking about as far as like. Sometimes needing that ordinary rod, we do have two Lapras V Max in our hand, and we're probably gonna want to recover at least one of those. Uh, and two water, the two water are just fine. Dark energy, stealthy hood, switch, ordinary rod, Lily's Poke Doll. Oh, energies and energy switch. Looks like some kind of goons deck, which is pretty good for us, I would say, most of the time. Um, I imagine sometimes it could get a little bit rough. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and quick ball away the Lapras. I think we're just gonna grab the small Lapras and just hold the rest of the hand because this guy gets us the big electrode. So I think we're just gonna go attach and pass. That's it. We'll give it up to our opponent. Uh, get this guy set up on the next turn. Just kind of start swinging. Uh, hope to find another baby Lapras and then uh, go from there. Yeah, it is a Obstagoon deck. So we gotta be scared of the Sable IV and the Yivatal GX. Those things can hit us really hard. Not really scared of the Obstagoon. I'm not I'm not really worried about Obstagoon. We're an evolution Pokemon. We one-shot it pretty easily. It only hits us for 90 damage. I'm worried about their two prize Pokemon that can take some pretty cheeky one-shots and be pretty annoying for us to deal with. That's what I'm worried about. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I'm actually curious to see... Um, to see how it goes. Are right, we gonna evolve here? Um, everything's planning just like I thought it would, or playing out just like I thought it would. Do this, boom, grab two trodes here because we're just gonna discard the other one because it makes no sense to keep the second one around. We just kind of pop one of these things and then that's good enough. Um, did a change here, two, three, four, five, six. So we got the second one of these, got a great ball. I'm gonna take a peek. Yeah, may as well discard that. And then I am gonna research here. I would like to get some more energy in the um, discard if possible. Yeah, there's a Viridian Forest. Um, how many do we have in here? We have two. So I'm going to Acrobike. Ooh. Let me check this again. I'm going to Great Ball first. Okay, we're going to take that. And then I'm going to Acrobike. So I'm trying to get an energy into the discard pile before I have Viridian Forest. Ooh, we've got Stamp and Research. We have Stamp in hand. All we really need is Stamps at this point, though, to disrupt our opponent. Um, let's take the Research. Just thinking about it, a little bit back and forth. Research seems cool. All right, Viridian away that, get ourselves an energy. Gonna get, what, three? Still pretty good. Um, yeah, hit him with that extra energy bomb. One, two, I think we only need three on each. So I'm gonna put the third one here and then I'm gonna attach to this guy. I don't think I need any more. 180, save life, that knocks out Sableye V, that knocks out Yvatal GX, that knocks out the Obstagoon. All right, let's do it. The G Max pump, knock out the Jirachi. I could have stamped them, I guess, to four here. I probably should have. I didn't even like realize that that interaction just happened. That they just drew two prize cards. I even talked about it in the the opening. Then I definitely would have taken the other shape if I had like realized I should have stamped them there. Should have definitely had six cards. 
four is less than six simple math uh i struggled with it there for sure um next time though next time i will stamp them to four um if you get in the same spot guys if you pop your electrode and you have a stamp they have more than four cards stamp them don't do what i just did i kind of got a little bit too excited with being able to just attack this turn and start swinging that uh kind of forgot about the uh the importance of the utility of stamp and i should have utilized it uh when i had the chance but who knows maybe we would have given them a better hand maybe in this one we're gonna get uh saved here overall uh, two quick balls in a hand is pretty good though so they got two quick balls they haven't played a draw supporter yet though so maybe maybe it'll work out there's another zigzagoon okay um they do need a lot of damage to make the um either of their pokemon work indeedy would be pretty good here um it's actually curious that they put two on this one because now they can't go obstacle yvital gx they kind of limit themselves on that play. Can't go Obstacoon, Yvetal. I almost want to leave these two here because they can't get to four anymore on this Lapras VMAX. Oh, now they can with that Night Slash. Okay, never mind. Maybe they had me figured out the whole time. The, the, the Night Slash does it. The Night Slash does it there. So probably want to still try and get Ndidi. And we're going to try. We're going to play Acrobike here. Um, try and get a Quick Ball or just the Ndidi itself if it's in the deck. I did not check my prize cards, not going to lie. So we're going to start with uh, Evolve here. Then... Pretty force away this. Get the energy. Let's check. Ooh, and Didi is in the deck. Perfect. Uh, Acrobike. Ooh, both good. But I think the Indeedee is a little bit more important. I think the, what's it called, might be a little bit too slow anyway. There's a switch. Let's get rid of the switch. We don't really need switch uh, anymore, I don't think. Yeah, I'm going to heal. Or exactly at four. I'm going to heal 20 of that. I think that's definitely worth. Um, stamp, definitely not worth right here. Just going to play the Cynthia. Still have two stamps left. And yeah, we are cruising, we're chilling. Let's go ahead and thin out the deck. Shuckle, and let's see what fully what we got going on in here. Got a switch, we got two stamp, three energy. Yeah, all right, chilling, looks great. Not gonna do anything else, just gonna chill. G-Max pump, not gonna get a prize card, but we still knock it out, um, not bad. Um, so yeah, they can't actually knock us out with Evital GX's turn. They can't get 20 damage on this uh, Lapras. Uh, well, they can with the Night Slash, but they can't knock me out. They can't attack twice in a turn, so they can't Night Slash and then Evital GX GX attack me. So we got them in a pretty good spot with this first Lapras. They can't Evital it. Um, if they hit it really hard, though, they could then follow up with the Sableye. But I do want them to kind of KO one of our Lapras VMAX anyways. I want them to get rid of one of them because then we can stamp them to one and hopefully not lock them out of the game at that point. That's the idea. Yeah, here comes the Night Slash again, but once again, it goes up to four. If we heal 20... They can either put one damage in play with the Zigzagoon or three with the Obstagoon. It has to be exactly four for the knockout from what's it called to happen. The knockout from Yvetal uh, GX. So I'm going to attach you in Didi here just in case our opponent plays the Custom Catchers and they bring up to Denner, they bring up in Didi and try and trap it. I can retreat either of them right now. We also have a switch in the deck, um, but you know, better safe than sorry. We don't need any more energy on either of these, so we may as well put it down here, split them up a little bit, do something with them because... Uh, Otherwise, they're just going to be dead cards. Um, yeah, so we're down. We're, do, we're through two of their dolls. Um, the deck usually plays four. So there could be a couple more turns of no prize card drawing. There's an energy switch. I'm a little scared. They could have a big play with like multiple Obstagoon plus the Sable IV. And then they could look to close it out with the Yvetal GX. So I'm a little scared right now. It's definitely possible for a crazy um sable light there he is gonna come in with those crazy claws and i think that might actually just be enough the five damage counters um uh, we do get the return knockout and we are gonna dig for that stamp with the research but that's still a big deal they still have that yvetal gx remaining and i'm kind of scared this is this is getting close already oh man all right yeah there's the knockout we're gonna push up the lapras vmax obviously and um Let's go dig for a stamp because we got to stamp our opponent this turn. Um, let's see, let's just throw this on the Ndidi again. Maybe could have put it active. Um, yeah, research. Two stamp left, 11 card deck. Um, there we go. Got the stamp. Feeling good. Stamp to one. They still have the, the Jirachi to work with though. So definitely potential to uh, get stuff going again on the next turn. I don't think they're going to knock me out next turn. Um, but they could definitely piece together piece together the pieces they need over the next two to three turns to get that Yvetal GX knockout on our Lapras. They just need a Candy Obstagoon and their final Zigzagoon, which I'm sure, if I had to bet, it's not their last prize card. Oh no, there's the Rosa. They could already have it. Probably not, probably not. Probably not the full full uh, 
full shebang. They're probably gonna play a little bit slower this turn. Probably see like second Jirachi come down, get another Stellar Wish off. Definitely get the energy. Um, I don't know, some trainer card. I don't, I, if they have, can, can they even have it all? Yeah, there we go. There's a doll. They're gonna probably come in, uh, punch us. If they do punch us with that Night Slash though, I'm just not gonna heal it. Um, because then once again, we can trap them from being able to actually do anything about utilizing the um, Yivatol GX. Because if it's at two, they don't have two Zigzagoons to use because they got one here, one here, one here, right? There's no ditto here. Yeah. So I'm not going to heal this because uh, I because then they could go, yeah, then they could go Opsagoon, Zigzagoon, Yivatol GX. So then we're just going to go uh, G-Max Pump, Knockout. But even just the damage from the Opsagoons is going to start to pile up here soon. So that even is a little bit scary, I guess. Maybe I should look to set up this Lapras. Um... I could set up a Lapras. I do have the energy for it. I could shuffle in two of those Lapras and two energy. If I have energy in here, I do. And two energy. Get those in the deck. Start manually attaching to that. That wouldn't be terrible, that's for sure. That could be okay. But yeah, when it, We went out of our way to not heal that damage. Just want to make that very clear. Did that on purpose. Trying to avoid... Uh, trying to avoid that Yvitol GX knockout. Yvitol GX knockout. They have a lot of Obstacles lined up. Though, so they can go 90, 90, 90, plus 60... Uh, that's a lot of damage. We might need to go into that that Lapras like I was talking about, but he is it takes him a while to set up. And he's at four energy on the ocean loop. I probably should have tried to be setting up that a little bit earlier. Oh, he can't attack him anyways though. You can't you literally just can't attack him. What am I saying? Here comes another nice slash though. That's super good for us. Looks like that stamp did its job. Yeah, if they're using obstruct, we can't take knockouts with it. It's literally pointless. I mean, maybe they attack with something else at some point. We indeed eat this. Oh, but this Zigzagoon will go to the discard, and if they Ordinary Rod it back, then they could go Zigzagoon, Zigzagoon, Knockout. So I think I leave this, but if I leave it at four, they give me anyways. I was like, I'm going to leave it at four, but that's the perfect number that they need. So I overthought that one a little bit there. Yeah, we're just swinging. G-Max Pump, hope they don't have too much. Um, yeah, hopefully double Zigzagoon doesn't happen. Yeah, because now they can go Ordinary Rod this guy back. And if they have the access to the other Zigzagoon, and that Zigzagoon, and Yvatol GX, they can knock out our Lapras V-Max. And we're going to be in big trouble. Uh, we only have two cards left in our deck, but we have Ordinary Rod. We have Cynthia. We would lose to a Bellaba and Bryson Man. Um, and it, I think they have noticed that we only have two cards. I think they're playing for us to deck out at this point. Um, obviously not going to happen. We have stuff to put in, back in our deck. Um, but that might be their game plan at this point. I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to order an Ordinary Rod yet. There's no need to heal that 20 once again. And then G Max Pump through this final Poke Doll of our opponents. I hope so. Yes, that is the one. I was like, I looked there and there's only one or two of them. I'd be like, what happened, bro? I feel like we've we've hit at least four of these things. And yeah, four in the discard pile. Four of them down. Um, here comes the Stellar Wish. Get so see, Tate and Liza. That's fine. Not super scared of Tate and Liza. They could draw all the pieces, I guess, theoretically off Tate and Liza, but I don't think they're gonna get it. Um yeah, you've told GX. That's the man we're worried about. They have two turns at the very least to find him and uh, get everything set up. And if they bench him, just trying to get him into play, um, even if they don't have the pieces for it, we do have that great catcher. So we can punish that play from our opponent and take that knockout. Um, looks like they're going with the Obstagoon here, though. They're going to hit us for 90, which means that it's no longer able to pull off that play. Um, I guess they could always chase something off our bench as well. You we didn't even really think about that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, reset Samper our opponent to one here, and then I'm going to go ahead and play that Ordinary Rod, minimize the potential plays from our opponent. Uh, Overwatch, I'm going to attach another energy here on the active, just in case they have something weird. Do both here. I'm going to get back uh, one Lapras, one to Dene, and then two uh, Water Energy here. And then, yeah, hit him with that G-Max Pump. Evital GX no longer an option. We have 90 damage on us. It has to be exactly four damage counters. So I think we're in the clear on this one, unless they have some crazy combo to do damage to one of our bench Pokemon, bring it up and knock it out or something like that. Um, I guess they could like research and then go Absagoon, Zigzagoon, Great Catcher, Givatol GX. The amount of times I've said Givatol GX in this last half of this game is insane, but it's literally the only threat that exists at this point. So I feel like it's like the only thing to talk about. Uh, I keep coming up with different ways for them to pull off the knockout as well. So I thought I would let you guys know, you know, what's going through my head right now. All right, four new cards. Literally the four, literally, uh, wait, what? Literally, oh no, it had to be the four cards. I was like, those are literally the four cards I shuffled in order, but it had to be those. We get the dub, take down the Obstagoon. Okay, we're getting into another one here. Our opponent is going first. This time, they are opting to um, 
to go first. Opening the shuckle, obviously not ideal. Uh, the rest of the hand uh, means we're probably not going to need that fresh squeeze, though, because we're probably going to have to dead a change here. Um, Radiant Forest, dead a change, yeah. Uh, looks we're up against a Malamar deck. The question is just, what kind of Malamar deck is it? Is it Mewtwo Malamar? Is it Spelltag Malamar? Is it another kind of Malamar? Alternate across my Malamar? It's been a while, but it, it is technically, uh, could be a deck. Um, haven't seen it in forever, but uh, you never know what you're going to run into on the P PTCGO ladder. A lot of people playing a lot of things. All right, there's a quick ball. We at least know they play that. Uh, but who doesn't in, in uh, index these days? Now, the question is, what is their main attacker? There's a Mewtwo. It is the Mewtwo Malamar. So this matchup is a little scary because they probably play Trevenant Dusknor, which can just use its GX attack to discard all the energy on our active Pokemon, meaning we just lose all of our energy, basically, which is not good for us. We don't we don't want to lose all of our energy. Um, there's a Quick Bone getting rid of then again on GX. They're using Dead Detonate themselves. So yeah, we're just going to still go about executing our game plan and kind of hope we don't get... Uh, wrecked by Trevnor. Maybe they'll use the Gengar Mimikyu's GX attack um, initially anyways to set up and disrupt us, slow us down, and we won't really have to worry about the uh, Trevnor's uh, GX attack. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to hope for at the very least anyways. They do play the Garatina as well. Some don't actually these days. I've been seeing less, less and less people playing the Garatina in this deck. Um, still seems so good. Garatina is obviously such a ridiculously good card when you have the option to attack. Ah, okay. Can't use our Viridian Forest. We do play two though, so I'm still going to throw it out. Possible we could stick one in play on the next turn. The quick Ball, and then yeah, just going to be that Dead A change. Need a Voltorb. Need a... I guess we don't need a Lap. No, we need a Lapras. I was like, we don't need one. We do need one. This guy's coming down, attach, quick ball. Second Voltorb is always safest. It is possible that they could do something like the Venom Shot. Um, that's why we do play four Voltorb, because we want to get two on turn one for situations like these. Okay, Voltorb, thank you. I knew he'd uh, he'd make it. Okay, and there we go, the double Voltorb. We got everything set up that we basically need. Gonna go ahead and, yeah, pass over to our opponent. And we actually, I think, have the... Um, knockout setup right here on the Mewtwo as long as we get an electrode we could even attach active great catcher evolve play the research or dead a change I would probably actually dead a change because this is our last Dene but we have more supporters in the deck um, so if we research away the Dene we can't do both oof all right they got the big charm which means we actually have to attach here and hope for the switch or maybe our opponent will be nice and actually knock out the shuckle for us and then we won't need to even find a switch card and then i'll just send up the lapras attach get all the energy knock out this and then from there it gets scary because then they could use another mewtwo to copy trevnor to knock out our lapras and then that's where we're like Ugh, feels bad man we'll see if we can win from here all right yeah mewtwo's ready to go there goes second dead a change um so seeing a lot of cards they have yet to play a draw supporter or yeah, they've only had one turn where they can play a draw supporter, so I guess it's not that surprising. Still could play a draw supporter this turn is what I should say. Still could play a draw supporter. Um, still need to move this NK, probably get a third energy. They could get the fourth. They could just actually go snipe to Dene this turn if they really wanted to. There's the air, bal air balloon. Uh, there goes the switch on a treasure. Um, see what they got. Second Malamar. So yeah, they could go with an again and snipe this turn. We'll see what that last card in their hand is. Uh, usually in these situations, it is a draw supporter. Um... But you never know. Maybe they didn't get one. Okay, there we go. Cynthia. There we go. Cynthia for six. Um, and we'll see what they go for here. They, the only attack they really have access to is their GX attack. The <laughs> Miraculous Duo, which you don't really want to use on a Shuckle. And then the uh, Venom Shot, which would, would be okay. Um, there is a Garchomp Giratina. So they could linear attack this turn if they want to. I would definitely be fine with them linear attacking. Um, I kind of don't think they're going to do that. Uh, I assume they're going to go with that... Um, Venom shot somewhere. Somewhere on my board. It's going to be a Venom. It is going to be the linear attack. On to my Lapras. Okay. Well, all right. We'll see how this goes. All right. So, one of our electrodes in the discard pile. I'm going to go ahead and evolve this. Oh, did they not have psychics in here? No, they did. All right. It's going to let us slide this time. All right. So, yeah, I definitely want to knock out the Mewtwo because that's the most flexible card that they have right here. So, I think we just go attach. We could also just knock out this, though. Um, not if I want a data change. No, if, even if I want a data change, I could just go knock out that. Uh, this can put him anywhere, right? Doesn't have to be to one Pokemon. Mm. 
to your Pokemon, except GX or EX. Well, so we could put one here, four here, attach there, knock this out. Just draw three prize cards and knock this out on the next turn. If they don't get the Trevnor, they just lose. If they get the Trevnor, we're in trouble. Um, but we could like switch and just try and reset up from there. I almost just kind of like that game plan. Yeah, let's do it. I'm down. Let's see how this goes. Gonna knock this thing out. Hope oh, Trevnor doesn't become too big of a too big of a threat. Okay, we got the switch as well. Uh, nothing else basically. We can stamp them to four, which also kind of plays into this game plan a little bit. Uh, we did get the switches as well. All right, so do this. Get these energies. Just put them all here. We're all in basically on this Lapras. If not, uh, maybe can pull something together? I don't think so, though. Not with this hand. Um, watch over doesn't seem that great, so I'd almost want to keep this bench base open for another Lapras, potentially. We have, what, 290 HP? I'm trying to come up with a combination that they could do to actually knock us out when we have 290 HP. I... 290, 210... Uh, oh yeah, yeah, 290, 310 is slightly better against Poltergeist, I guess. Um, draw three would be at seven. We could do a five, six, so it'll be 300. Okay, I guess that would be a difference maker. We're gonna go and heal it. All right, G Max Pump, but I do want to keep the switch just in case our opponent does use. Um, uh, Trevnor's GX attack. We want to be able to remove that effect of us getting knocked out on the following turn. There we go. Six cards. Not very good ones. Um, but that's okay. Um, and we could. It is possible that if they do hit this, no, we couldn't knock this out. It's the, the the big charm makes it a little bit too big. It's got a little bit too much HP for us to actually knock out. If they didn't have the big charm. We could we could knock it out in one turn. We could go attach. Uh, get these guys back with the ordinary rod, put one in play, use the ability, six energy, knock out the Mewtwo, but the big charm, it says one energy short, um, if they do Trevnor us, I'm, I'm talking in terms if they do Trevnor, so if they do Trevnor this, we'd be one short, however, if they do something just like attack with Giratina, which is very possible they just do, just attack with Giratina to try and soften us up for the Mewtwo, then we could knock it out, um, oh wait, we're not quite out of range of six trainers, I, for some reason, I, oh, we could heal though, so yeah, if they go... Um, house GX with uh, Mimikyu, then we could heal 20 more, and then we would need 7 trainers, so we couldn't, we wouldn't be able to get there, because we'd have to draw for turn, that'd only be 5 anyways, yeah, we can't even get, can't even get 6 into our hand, or force to have 6. Marnie, no, Marnie, Trevnor, I guess, that would do it, we could draw a lot off Marnie and Trevnor, that's the only thing I see here, though, so I'm feeling pretty good, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Just gotta let our opponent play through their turn, see what they got. I'm trying to come up with other things that they could possibly pull off, but it's basically Trevnor or Gengar Mimikyu. Trevnor, it's hard for us to deal with. If they do Trevnor us, we're gonna be in trouble. I don't actually know what we're gonna do if they Trevnor us. We'd have to like top deck for sure. But here comes exactly what I wanted to happen is the Giratina with the Distortion Door, and hopefully they're attacking with that. That's what that means, them bringing this out of the discard pile. Using the Shadow Impact for 130 does soften us up, but it does mean we will win the game next turn with the Great Catcher on the Mewtwo, because we're doing 300 damage with seven waters um, with the G-Max pump. So we'll see for sure here, but that I would assume that's what that means. If they're putting the Tina in play, they're probably attacking with it. They're taking their time though, so we're not gonna figure out for a little bit longer, I guess. Keeping us in suspense. So they got it? You got it? What's going on, man? Retreat to Dede and pass? I guess it's possible they didn't draw a Psychic. Have plenty for the Psychic Recharges, but um, maybe you don't have one to attach to the Giratina. Attach to the Mewtwo. I don't know what they're doing. We got the Great Catcher. Gonna go ahead and take out this Mewtwo for our last three prize cards. Looks like going after the Giratina Garchomp ended up paying off as we win in, what was it, four turns with the Lapras VMAX setup. Next turn, not, was it three turns? One, two, three. Is that a three turn game? Man, one, two, three. It seemed like it was a three-turn game. Whatever, we got the dub, and that's gonna do it for this video with the Electro Lapids V Max deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.